at what point now, I mean, in 94, uh, did it just get to the point where it was getting to be too much? And as you mentioned, they wanted you to move to Connecticut. What was going on when you said, uh, you know, it's time to go? Well, it began really because um, there was the steroid thing, stigma going around, and um, it, Vince was really spending a lot of money um, uh, on on that to, to defend that. We had um, Geraldo and his TV crew at one of our TV shows down there at, uh, oh, man, um, I can't, I, I can't even think of it, but it was right down from New Orleans, and... Um, We'd done New Orleans and then did this show, and here was it was this TV crew, and they're wanting to know, you know, there's steroids and they're being, you know, just anything to try to talk to somebody, and and so he was trying to uh, Biloxi, it was Biloxi, oh God, and um, so we were running from that. Um, Vince was going through. You know, um, some some money times. Uh, you know, you had you know, Ted Turner times. coming. Yeah, it was a tough, tough time. So yeah. everybody that had been enjoying that, you know, he flew me out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, for God's sake, and um, and put me on the road. Well, that's where they were looking, you know. And again, I said uh, that two years before, like '92, the more distant it got from from Vince, and then you had the the CPAs and everybody else in between that was trying to cut expenses. Um, right. And one of them was, hey, let me get you back up here, and um, I want you in the studio um, because I can't fly you back uh, back and forth anymore. Mm-hmm. So that that kind of made my you know the decision. Um, came home, my mom just no way she 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 couldn't make the move. And my kids always say, don't put that on me now. Don't say it. Well, no, but you you look at it, it was like, God, now they're in their, their teenagers. Um, it's probably time for me to come home. Um, my my daughter was probably 14 at the time, uh, 13, and Max being young, I'd missed a lot. Um, you know, I was their mom, and my mom stood in for me. I mean, that was just the way it was. And um, I wasn't on the road as much as the wrestlers, but uh, still, I was, I was gone a lot. I got to go on a European tour, so I was, I was gone on Easter holidays. But I, would, I had grown up that way. They hadn't. Were holidays were, oh, well, we're working. You know, I mean, my dad had Christmas shows. We had Thanksgiving shows. We worked. Yeah. Um, so, but they didn't know it, and they'd go to school and their friends. I was not known back then. I mean, when I'd get on that plane, that life... When that airplane door shut, that life was over, and I stepped into okay, you know the WWF, WWF mode. You had to, you had yeah. to get that frame because you're leaving your kids. I'm kind of sad, and they're you know, oh my god, they're they're games, they're this and that. Yeah, yeah. Then I would come back home, and I'd be getting off of this wild and crazy ride, and where you know you have just, I mean. You can't believe, you know, the, the pressure, and and there's not ever an answer. No, you just get it done, get it done. When you get home, and they're they're kind of like, hey, um, you know, I'm I'm Sergeant Major, like, why in this house cleaned up? You know, <laughs> come on, right, yeah. you know, just because I'm gone. So that was hard. That was hard. But it was, I was not known, and the kids would say to me, they go, Mom, why can't you just get an office that has windows? Can't you just be normal? Man, I was like, I've never been normal. I, I didn't know what normal was. And it was time then that um, I thought, you know, this is what my dad was talking about. Um, even though Vince had said it, Terry Garvin had said it, he was like, you know, you're going to be with this company forever. And I go, oh, yeah, when I'm old and broken and I can't get down to the ring. And I go, hey, that's when we'll, we'll you know, we'll lift, we'll put you in a lift and we'll just send you down on the ring. Like, sure, right. sure. So you, you don't, I know how easily you can be replaced because of my of my dad's promotion, I can remember if somebody didn't do right, or um, they, you were penciled in and you were erased out, and you could be replaced at any time. So you, you know that that also told me is that uh, maybe this is my time, um, and um, diversify. I loved the television end of it, 
and um, but I couldn't I couldn't put the two together. So I applied at uh, TCI Cable here in the production part of it, and um, two months before I was ready to go, then they called and I they 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 were hesitant about hiring me because they couldn't afford what I'd been paid by Vince, and I knew better. I knew that, and I, I said, "Hey, I know it's hard for me to swallow, but I, you know this is." This is my second life. I'm coming, you know. I've, I got to, I got to, I got to, got to do a real life here. Um, and so that's how that happened. Um, I took computer courses. I, oh, I didn't know anything. But I had, you know, the computers were coming along, but I mean, it was really fast. I had my real estate license, which I've had since 1983. That was the other thing that I always fell back on. I could always do something with it. I never, you know, I never let it lapse. Because I didn't want to take the test over again, you know. Yeah, so, <laughs> just, um, and so I always found time to always do uh, take my classes and keep that just like in the back of your head that your dad right. keeps on saying, you know, something to fall back on. Yeah, okay. um, because my degree in broadcasting, I, who knows? You know, you can it, have that degree, and where does it take you? To some, right. it doesn't matter. They just want to know well that you graduated. But anyway, so I started at TCI in the production part. But, and then went into the traffic, and um, that's kind of the trans. That is, it's not kind of. That is the transition I made because I love the production part of where you take something and you know it, it, and then it goes out on the air. You're making it, and I, I love the development of it. So um, that was the the hardest part. Um, was always going back, and when they'd come to Tulsa. And, you know, it was hard not to see another announcer because they didn't, you know, he was good about that. He didn't uh, hire another female ring announcer for a while. And, um, but to see my family. But then it was, it was also, too, a time where, Sean, you know, they were splitting up. I mean, uh, Randy was leaving. Hawk had left. Uh, no. They were, they were, they were no. going down to Turner. 